I'm gonna show you how to make this motion blur effect with a different approach here in Photoshop. And I'm gonna go with this image as a reference. And let's go to the layer. I'm gonna press Ctrl J to duplicate. Now, if your layer is a smart object, then make sure to right click on the layer and select Rasterize Layer. I'm also gonna rename it. And now let's go and select the Smudge tool. And right click, make sure the hardness is on zero. And let's go up to the settings and my strength is up to 90. Now in order to make this smudge tool work properly, you're gonna need like a smaller size image. So I'm gonna go with like 1080p, 1920 by 1080, click OK. And from here, all you need to do is go to the desired area and just drag it. And as you can see, it is going to melt it. I think this is too exaggerated. So I'm gonna go somewhere here at the eye. Basically, I'm gonna go next to the eye and I'm gonna drag it from here. So now I get like a better result, but you're gonna need to experiment with it and see what works the best. I also gotta speed up the process. All right, so this is how the end result looks like. Now let's say if you wanna remove some of the areas, all you need to do is go click on the layer and select the mask. And now I gotta go and select the brush, make sure that you're on the black. And all you need to do is go here to the areas that you wanna remove and check it out. But I think mine is pretty good. And now we're gonna need to add some noise because right now this area is really smooth. And let's go to the adjustments, select the solid color. And I'm gonna go with black, click OK. Now let's go to filter, noise, and select add noise. Click on convert to smart object. And I'm gonna go with like 16, click OK. Let's go to the blend mode. And I'm gonna change it to screen. And about least I'm gonna go to the adjustments here, select the gradient map, click on the gradient. And here I'm gonna add a yellow, click OK. Let's go on. I'm gonna make this a red, click OK. Next, I'm gonna make this some purple, some darker purple, click OK. And the black is gonna be here. I'm gonna add another color here, and this is gonna be a light gray, click OK. And here, all you need to do is adjust the handles until you're gonna be satisfied with the results. Click OK. And this is how I make this flaming motion blur here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.